Originally, I wasn't going to comment on the Gold and Silver story arc until Viz had completed it, or they severely screwed something up. That being said, I have just witnessed the absolute worst case of censorship I have ever seen! Okay, maybe not the worst case of censorship I've ever seen, but it's pretty bad. I mean... Viz, how do you sleep at night doing this bad of a job? Since this happens in Volume 11, here's the current story. Crystal, also known as Chris, is a capture specialist and has been hired by Professor Oak to complete the Pokédex. Her payment is that Professor Oak fixes up the orphanage where she volunteers at, and this becomes important later on. Viz is once again completely inconsistent with how they handle death, flip-flopping between mentioning it and censoring it, pretty much guaranteeing that they haven't read anything beyond the current volume that they're translating, although that was painfully obvious at the start of the series when they skipped nicknames. It also guarantees that they haven't played any Nintendo games recently because we all know how they avoid death like the plague, especially in their E-rated games. Volume 10 also brings us this. I don't think anything else needs to be said. Meanwhile, the three legendary beasts have woken, and Suicune is traveling around Johto to find a trainer to fight alongside it in the upcoming battle. Chris tries to capture it, however, fails. This results in Chris getting depressed to the point of being unable to capture Pokémon. Luckily, Chris's mother appears, and I don't know if she has a name, but we'll just call her Lady Gaga. She is sick and tired of Chris's moping and decides to actually parent her child and gives her a motivating slap to get her ass in gear. So, going by the title of this video, you can already guess that they've censored the slap. How did they do this? Badly. Take note that whoever altered this panel was incredibly lazy and only did the bare minimum of work. The only two things that were actually removed was Crystal being slapped and the impact from the slap. Lady Gaga's arm was moved to be beside her so that she was just staring at Crystal. Cubone's eyes are still wide open in shock, and RK9 is cringing in pain. Crystal still falls down, with her eyes closed in pain, and in two of the following panels, the mark from the slap was removed. However, Crystal is still rubbing her cheek as though it was in pain from something. Apparently, there was actually a psychic message telling her that she was going to go to the dentist. So to recap, all they edited was the actual action and any marks. Everything else was kept as is. If only there was some quote that could summarize what was wrong with this entire situation. Like American comics, manga is a sequential storytelling format in which both images and words are equally important to the narrative, though sometimes the images carry more weight. Wow, I didn't have to take that out of context. Since they removed the actual slap, they had to redraw part of Lady Gaga's face. And boy, does that ever look awful. The mouth's placement looks unnatural, and her redrawn jawline is just hideous. Apparently, they only used the line tool in Photoshop and decided to ignore the other examples of Lady Gaga's face on the page, which don't involve jagged lines that could gouge out a Needle King's eye. I mean, look at it! Her jaw is so sharp here that it could impale Ganondorf. As previously established, whoever edits this manga is incredibly lazy. I think we can also safely assume that they are blind. Or they thought that since this was for kids, they wouldn't notice a half-assed job. 
I'll go with blind, since that would be less insulting to their paying customers. The upper right corner, which used to have Lady Gaga's hand, is now filled with a lot of wasted space. Personally, I would have had the word glare written behind Lady Gaga and take up the upper half of the panel. It would have been much stronger and not led to the immediate thought that there was something missing from the image, or that this was a last minute edit with no actual thought involved. Looking at the panels on this page alone, no other panel has wasted space. The complete lack of something there clashes with everything else on the page. I also question if the person editing this has even read manga before. Since it's a visual medium, the space has to be wisely used. For example, on the next page, a void of white is used to emphasize Crystal's current lack of confidence. So, why was this censored? Because out of context, it could be seen as child abuse. For people who talk about context being a selling point and a reason for why manga is good for children, they sure have an odd way of showing it. Now, do I find this acceptable? No. Out of context, I still find that there is a lot worse content that the manga has presented, such as the tentacle joke back in Volume 1, and also the decapitation. The reason behind the hit was because Lady Gaga didn't want her child to become a whining snot face who can't accept her own failures and fears that she would turn out like Lorelai from the Yellow Story arc, that she would end up blaming everyone else for her own failures. So Viz had to censor a parent doing their job. Probably not in the greatest of ways, but still, they censored parenting. Now, why don't we look at an actual example of child abuse that wasn't censored, all the way back in Volume 3. Professor Asshole not only knowingly takes advantage of Green's phobia to birds, but also embarrasses her in public. Now, some may say that this was disciplining her for stealing his squirtle. However, my counter is this. This panel from Volume 29 where Professor Oak holds a Pokédex out of reach from a midget. While smiling. From this panel, we find out that Professor Oak enjoys inflicting pain and suffering upon other people. In other words, he's a sadist. So, parenting a child needs to be censored, but psychological torture from a sadist upon an 11-year-old girl who stole something is completely okay. I can't wait for the absolutely epic battle of Ruby and Norman staring at each other! I'm also glad that there's no child abuse in the games! That's a spin-off, though. Well, thankfully, there's no actual child abuse in the main series of games. This, when you censor something, especially in this manga, know your source material, because it's not like the games ask you to commit suicide or anything. I'm also glad that there's no actual child abuse in the main series!